We're asked to find the cofactor matrix of the given matrix, then find the transpose of the cofactor matrix, which is the adjoint of A, sometimes referred to as the adjugate of A. If we take a look at our notes on the right, the cofactor matrix consists of all the cofactors from the original matrix. And then the transpose of the cofactor matrix is equal to the adjoint of matrix A. And remember, cofactor I comma J is equal to negative one raised to the power of I plus J times the corresponding minor. Let's work on determining the first row in the cofactor matrix. Cofactor A sub one comma one is equal to negative one and raised to the power of one plus one times the minor. To find the minor, we eliminate row one column one of the original matrix, which leaves us with a two by two matrix, and therefore we multiply by the determinant of this two by two matrix, where row one is four zero, and row two is zero negative two. Simplifying, the square of negative one is positive one. The determinant is equal to four times negative two, which is negative eight, minus zero. Simplifying, we have negative eight for the entry in the cofactor matrix for row one, column one. Cofactor A sub one comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of one plus two times the minor. If we eliminate row one, column two, the minor is the two by two determinant where row one is negative one, zero, row two is five, negative two. Simplifying, the cube of negative one is negative one. The determinant is negative one times negative two, which is two minus zero times five, giving us two minus zero. Simplifying, we have negative two. The entry in row one, column two is negative two. Cofactor A sub one comma three is equal to negative one raised to the power of one plus three times the minor. If we eliminate row one, column three, the minor is the two by two determinant where row one is negative one, four, row two is five, zero. Simplifying, the fourth power of negative one is one. The determinant is zero minus 20 or negative 20. Simplifying, we have negative 20. This is the entry for row one, column three. And now let's work on row two. Cofactor A sub one comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of one plus two times the corresponding minor. If we eliminate row two, column one from the original matrix, we can see the minor is the determinant where row one is two, three, and row two is zero, negative two. The cube of negative one is negative one. The determinant is negative four minus zero. Simplifying, we have positive four. This is the entry for row two, column one. Cofactor A sub two comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of two plus two times the corresponding minor. If we eliminate row two column two, we have a two by two determinant where row one is zero three, row two is five negative two. Simplifying the fourth power of negative one is one. The determinant is equal to zero minus 15 or negative 15. One times negative 15 is negative 15. The entry for row two column two. Cofactor A sub two comma three is equal to negative one raised to the power of two plus three times the corresponding minor. If we eliminate row two column three, we have a two by two determinant where row one is zero two, row two is five zero. Simplifying, the fifth power of negative one is negative one. The determinant is zero minus 10 or negative 10. Simplifying, we have positive 10. This is the entry for row two column three. And now for the third row, cofactor A sub three comma one is equal to negative one raised to the power of three plus one times the corresponding minor. If we eliminate row three column one, the two by two determinant has a first row of two, three, and a second row of four, zero. Simplifying the fourth power of negative one is one. The determinant is zero minus 12 or negative 12. One times negative 12 is negative 12. The entry in row three column one. Cofactor A sub three comma two is equal to negative one raised to the power of three plus two times the minor. If we eliminate row three column two, the minor is the two by two determinant where row one is zero three and row two is negative one zero.
Simplifying the fifth power of negative one is negative one. The determinant is zero minus negative three, which simplifies to three. Negative one times three is negative three. The entry for row three, column two. And then finally, cofactor a sub three comma three is equal to negative one raised to the power of three plus three times the minor. If we eliminate row three, column three, the minor is the two by two determinant where row one is zero two and row two is negative one four. Simplifying the sixth power of negative one is one. The determinant is zero minus negative two, which simplifies to two. One times two is two, which is the entry in row three, column three. Now that we have the cofactor matrix, we can determine the adjoint of A by finding the transpose of the cofactor matrix. To transpose the cofactor matrix, we make column one of the cofactor matrix row one of the transpose. We make column two of the cofactor matrix row two of the transpose. And we make column three of the cofactor matrix row three of the transpose. And this transpose is the adjoint of matrix A or the adjugate of A. I hope you found this helpful.